Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Surprise, and today I have a video of overview kiting gacha. I uh, oh let's see, I already have four videos of kiting this hunter that I have made about several months. Okay, so I can put the link of my four videos under the description so that you guys can take it as a reference. In the in those video, I use from Kaita is a magic sense to support her like seer and to the mechanic where is the decoder. So in this video, I will take uh, a brief of these two four videos and. I can tell that this one is just a basic trick and a basic way to counter Gaisha since uh, my videos were recorded from the rank from Griffin from Mamma to Griffin. I have divided into four trips and I will go very very quick from each. Okay, so the first one it is Skipjack. Talking about Gaisha, uh, this hunter has um, a skill called Dash and her very very high approach ability to survive her. So if you want to counter Gaisha, memorize the map is the most important along with skill check. Here I use the term skill check where you cancel the Gaisha Dash by looking at her face. That is the button you need to pay attention the most. Okay, and next, we shall try not to let her full skill at early game because her jogging time on the skill will shock her and the dash will faster. And try to avoid giving her the free hit at early game also, since uh, we get the higher rank kiting at the early game is very very important. Here, I refer to do the skill check uh, when I just pull the pallet early or when the distance between the hunter and myself is far and there's no object on the way. Because that is uh, when the hunter tend to dash the most. Gansha users usually spam the dash button so if we look back at her, we might cancel her skills. So, uh, as I told earlier, we need to memorize the map well, in order not to run into the walls while we are skill checking. I've known some players can look at the Gaisha face and moonwalking at the same time. <laughs> I think it is, it is some settings in the phones or just a different phones as mine. I am using uh, the iPad and it doesn't have that option. So, thirst, memorize the maps is still very necessary. The next trick I would like to discuss is to run close to the wall or the object. Uh, I usually call to hug the walls. So yeah, I and I also prefer to do this after pulling the pallet early because the gunship players try to adjust the camera higher in order to dash through the wall and to hit with the first dash. So if we run close to the wall, it is harder for them to move the camera and to dash successfully through the wall. Uh, so yes, there is only one way for the hunter to approach us is to destroy the pallet and then continue chasing. And I have no a derive of this trick, that is to crouch after the pallet is pulling down. Okay, so I, I admit. Doing this will push the Gaisha to destroy the pallet, but in my own opinion, the animation of the crouch and the stand up really really takes time, and in some case, we don't have enough time to run to another pallet. First, we might get one hit free, so I don't think this crouch trick would work in our cases. Well, well, yes, it works, but it only works if we run to another pallet on time and then we continue kiting. The third trick is choke. 
I consider jerk is the basic trick to counter Gaisha because uh, this hunter attack range is very short. Uh, she gets harder to control the hit attack after dashing. Um, and most Gaisha users hit immediately after dashing, no matter that it is his right or miss. So that's what I have experienced. First, I think joke is one trick that you need to learn. Talking about joke, joke is an action where you run unexpectedly to reduce the chance of taking hit from the hunter. And that is to buy more time to relocate to another better kiting zone. And joke is not an easy thing to do and mostly depends on the luck. And I see most survivors choke by running towards the hunter intentionally. They run back, leave it a short distance. Uh, the second way to choke is to run around one object, just like a tree, like I'm doing right now in this video. And the final choke is to lead the Gaisha fall off a hole or a stair. <laughs> Okay, I think this is uh, the, the easiest joke to do and this is very popular in the Sacred Hearts Hospital, Lakeside Village and Leo Memory Map. This is because uh, we can do both ski jack and running around at the same time. About all those small tips and tricks that I'm discussing right now. First, it is Tai Kai, especially around the high walls. Tai Kai mostly is used when we use our over the resources, when we have few of pallets in use. So, how to Tai Kai to buy more time? That is when you run around one spot and making the hunter unaware of whether you're gonna put that pallet down or not. If you really really notice the way I kite in all of my videos, I mostly run around and making the hunter take time to walk or just follow my footstep. Yes, I'm not trying to stun the hunter by the palace or any other way. I buy time by just tight kite. And the good example it is footage where I only have one pallet left to use. So I have to consider when to put it down. And first, this trick is effective to counter Gaisha seeing her speed is lower after dashing. Here I use the object to cut the dash and we really don't need to skill check. But this tip only works when Hunter press the dash button and there's no object on her dashing way. Thus, you cannot use this one when Gaisha stay behind the object first and then press the dash. Next step is to use the stunners. For example, there's a lot of stunner characters like Respector, the Chandras, and Forward, along with Seer. So, they're, because of their kiter, so of course, they buy more time for us. And moreover, stunners not only can kite, but also can cancel the Gaisha skill. Final trick, timing pallet. Oh, this is a very very basic way to counter any hunter. Yeah, since Gaisha has a short attack range, it is more effective. And now I want to talk about some mistakes while we are kiting. And that is when we are moonwalking and we stuck or fail skill check. Next is when we burn the pallet so early and we cannot move to another good kiting area. And this, this is when we bad timing on the pulling pallet down or lock ourselves in a dead end. Or we don't do the skill check on time and to predict the wrong direction of the hunter. Okay, that's all the things that I have experienced in this summit of for you guys. I hope it will be helpful for who's in need, especially who's still afraid of Gaisha. 
And if you know more trick or want to discuss with me, feel free to drop a comment on my YouTube or my Facebook. I will be willing to share it with you guys. And now, thank you everyone for watching my video. Have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,